اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما يا فتاح يا عليم افتح لنا فتحا قريبا آمين يا رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We have started doing the sifat without the opposites and in the last session we covered a lean. In today's session, inshallah ta'ala, we'll cover the next sifa, which is called as-safir. This is a characteristic or the sifa that doesn't have the opposite. The linguistic definition of the word as-safir means whistling, whistling. And the Tajweed definition is, it is the sharpness in sound produced by the mouth due to the sound passing through a narrow passage. Now, to understand this even further and clearly, remember the makhraj of the letter Saad, Za and the Sin. The makhraj of the letter Saad, Za and the Sin is when you place the tip of your tongue at the internal size of your lower front teeth, which is Sanaya Sufla. So place the tip of your tongue at the internal base of your lower front teeth and then bring your upper and the lower teeth together, bring it closer, don't completely close them, bring it closer, leaving a small gap between them and then produce this sound. This is called safir. Yeah, this sound is called whistling. Safir. In Arabic, we call it safir. In English, it's called whistling. This is a characteristic of the three letters sad, za, and sin. The letter sad and sin has hums as well, so therefore, this, there is going to be an airflow with it. For the za, since za has jahar, it doesn't have hums, so we will not bring the the breath with it. We not uh, let the the airflow come with it. So that's based on the sound. Uh, jahar means breathless letters means the sound. It's only a sound which is uh, audible. The breathing or the air doesn't flow with the letter of the jahar. Sod and the seen since they have the humps, so there was there would be more whistling, more clear, and um, uh, the sofir will be really clearer with the humps. So the strongest in sofir is the letter sod because it has humps, it has rikhawa, and it also has isti'ala. So the sofir will be really loud and clear. So so, so you begin the letter Saad with the s sound, which is similar to the letter Sin. So the beginning would be similar like a Sin, but once you pronounce it, make it heavy by curving the tongue and raising it from the back. Saad, Saad, Saw, Sui, Su, Saw, Sui, Su. The next in Safir comes the letter Za because it has a Jahar and Jahar is stronger than Hams. So, Az, Za, Zi, Zu. This buzzing is actually Safir. It's called Safir, whistling. Za, Zi, Zu. Az, Az. Then comes the letter Hams of the letter Sin. So, As, Sa, Si, Su. Sin has a hams and hams is weaker. Hams is a weak quality. It's it's a weaker than uh, isti'ala and jahar. So this is the order how we apply it. I hope this is clear. Um, you will understand the safir that you need to begin with the whistle sound when you're pronouncing these letters from their right makhraj. Inshallah ta'ala. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته